Adventure is in my blood. Finding treasures big or small and having fun is what it's all about. With my wife Melissa and our three kids, life is pretty full. But there isn't a mountain we can't climb together. This isn't your ordinary antique store. My name is Alex Archibald and this is Curiosity Inc. Morning, so welcome to episode, what is this, episode 14 now. I remember back when I first started, I thought there'd only be four episodes of me doing this, and now look, we're on 14, but we are nearing the end, and things are looking up. Um, headed off this morning in a, what's a foggy day outside to meet Josh and Dakota at the house, and we are going to get to work on uh, finishing the inside and then starting on the outside of the house, and I'm hoping that in the next month or so here, I'll be able to actually have the property finished and listed for sale. This will be a big step in the right direction. So follow along on this episode as we make some real progress on the inside of the house, start getting it wrapped up, and uh, move out to the outside. So follow along and uh, let's get to the house. Well, I've arrived. And I can see already that the guys are hard at work. I've hired some local fellas to work on cleaning up the front yard. All right, well, the big thing I noticed is that the deck that was here is now gone. Oh, look, there was a window there. Yeah, there was. At one point. Uh, basically, we tore the whole old deck off. It was a mess under there, probably six inches of old silt and everything. And I couldn't find a shovel the other day because they were all buried underneath there. <laughs> Yeah, we found a few. I think we got two more on the other side we found too, so there's about eight of them all together. Is this some kind of water line or something that's run under uh, here? Yeah, I'm almost wondering if there used to be a well here at one time. Uh, I don't know that for sure. Well, actually, um, there was a cistern in the basement of the house. That's what I'm wondering then. Either either a shared water line with an old house or it comes off an old well or something like that. But, but it doesn't do anything now. No. Well, when we, come, when we uh, took the deck off, it was totally open, so it wasn't much there. And I see you've already got a pile of garbage bags. I mean, the, the front yard is already looking way better. Yeah, we have uh, 39 contractor grade garbage bags yesterday. So. 39 yep. bags of garbage already just from raking. Yeah, if you walk around, you'll see them. There's piles everywhere, so it's coming. Wow, and I hear you guys are pretty much the best in town when it comes to doing yard work and clean up. Yeah, you know, I Keep don't like to brag, work, but we show up and do the work, so. Yeah, well, you're you fast, need, right? so. and you couldn't have done this at a better time because Josh and Dakota are gonna be here soon, and they're gonna start building me a new deck. Oh, perfect. And they're gonna fix my front steps. Excellent. So it's that's the plan this weekend, and I've got tiling and stuff to do inside, but it's looking good out here already. Perfect. perfect. It is such a difference on this property now that it's turning into spring and things are going to start greening up here pretty soon. This was 15 years. 15 years was the last time this place had been raked by Mary's son-in-law, Don. And like you said, uh, basically there's been what, over 30 contractor bags full of trash. I'm looking forward to when Dakota shows up and Josh, so they can start working on these steps, because this is what we have to do right now. It looks like they're kind of walking on that, because these steps have completely rotted. Look at this. Just, you know, from use and from us using it, that's completely rotted now. And the guys did find something cool in the yard when they are digging up. They found a sword. <laughs> it's kind of like a makeshift fencing sword that, I don't know, maybe this is what people would, you know, Mary maybe use this to scare people off the property or something. Probably, I think she used to make um, props for school plays and stuff, so I'm sure it had a reason at one, at one point, but pretty neat thing to find. I have to say, it's getting to be downright cozy in this house. I'm really, really liking it. And the more work we do, the better it gets. But I'm gonna check and see how the upstairs washroom's coming along, see what the guys did. Tub is in place. I'm gonna have to clean it and wash it. And the walls have started to get a coat of paint. These are the, this is kind of like the shower head that we picked out. And I'm just waiting for a, a curtain to come in that hangs from the ceiling and goes down. But this tub's definitely gonna need some cleaning, just like the one downstairs. So I'll probably put a little CLR or cleaner in the bottom and let it soak throughout the day because I don't think anybody's gonna use that the way it is. It looks like I have another, another working toilet. So the washroom is definitely coming along. One problem I'm having is that the sandpaper is getting clogged up. 
because there's still some of this glue on the floor, remnants from when they had linoleum glued down. So I am taking to scraping it off and trying to get it back so at least I can get down to the paint and then sand over top. So I have this little patch left to do here and then I should be able to get the sander back out. Hey, look who's here. It's oh. the guys, the Plaid Brothers. The Plaid Brothers. Plaid and khaki and backwards hats. That's how you can tell the brothers. <laughs> That's <laughs> the only way I do. I didn't even know this. Did you get dressed independently? You didn't coordinate yeah, this morning? Yeah, actually I drove to his house. Oh, see, so look, so you got ready before he did. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. Look at that. yeah, he actually did. He actually got there and I was like, oh! <laughs> just getting ready as I was driving up my long driveway. No, oh, well, you saw him pull up and you're like, that looks like a great outfit. I'm going to mix it up. I'm putting blue in the mix. <laughs> so what do you guys think if I leave the floor with a little bit of, let's let's say, patina? You know me. I don't know. The like crunchier, the better. Yeah. I am a big fan of like age character. that is yeah, loaded with character. When you see something that's like, you know, super brand new, yeah, it's nice. If you see something that's crappy, then you're like, eh, nah, it's not nice. But when you see something like this, I'm like, yo, it's character. Right? This is awesome. This is Would you right? say it's quote unquote dope? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's dope. There we go. See, I knew you'd say that. I think it's, no, I like it. Because this is one new piece of fur in here. Uh, yeah, at some point somebody replaced one board. But when you put the clear on, it's going to blend it out pretty good. It'll darken up. Oh, I like it. So I'm going to take this back just a little bit more, but I'm hoping this will be either a Josh or Dakota room tonight. Wicked, perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna get it all cleaned up and ready to go. That's why I'm doing this one first. Thanks. I like it. Looks good. I like your little, like... I didn't do the ramp. I don't know. Wheelchair access you got going on here? Yeah, if you're in a wheelchair and a unicycle. You got one, one, one uh, wheel? One wheel. Yeah, it's when, when circus people get disabled, they have a unicycle <laughs> wheelchair. Uh, and yeah, that is their ramp. But no, I don't know. Somebody put that there. It wasn't me. I'm guessing probably one of the contractors. Um, oh, yeah. I know. Oh my god. The guys found that in the yard. Somebody built a sword. It's like a... What do you call that sport? Fencing. Fencing, yeah. That looks like something dude, that this you would not bend at all, dude. This would go right through That someone. looks like something you'd put that meat on and then you just... Oh, like a skewer? Put it on people's plates. You know yeah, I, mean? I guess you could fence and then like turn your fencing into a, a skewer after. You're like, haha, good game. And then they just barbecue after. Ah. My name is Inigo Montoya. You <laughs> killed my father. Prepare to die. Anyways, go on. That deck is busted. <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking about doing something bigger with that. Okay. Bigger. Like a little wider. So little you have, wider? Okay. yeah, because right now, if people are coming out of the door, there's nowhere for them to stand. You want to go from like window to window or even bigger? Maybe even a little bit bigger, maybe. So you wanna, don't want to keep this sturdy uh, railing? Let's see. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a minor death trap. And those bottom steps, which have turned back into soil. Yeah, yeah, these exactly. are, but yeah. These are not good. So that's that's kind of the priority. I would say the first thing would be building front steps because right now we have no good access to the house. Okay. Did you sure. just go through the? Yes. Yeah. See, that's the problem. That's the issue. This is okay. Yeah, that's this is an easy build. Yeah. Um. So I don't know if you want to get Dakota to start dismantling while you do a UFA run to go pick up wood. Yeah. Does that work? Yeah, Did you bring any sledgehammers or sawzalls or anything? We got a sawzall. Okay. Didn't bring a sledgehammer. Didn't mm. think of it. Well. Yeah. What's that other one? The broken one? Uh, well, it's broke. It was just the head of a sledgehammer. I'll just throw the head at it. <laughs> yeah. You know I mean? mm, no, I saw you trying to take carpet off the of stairs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then uh, the deck on this side. See it before and after? Yeah. Well, Please. this was all rotted. This area right here was pretty rough before. Yeah, the nailer's not bad. It's, it's not, not rotted. Bad, but it's not, I mean. It's not rotten at all, dude. It's not rotten, but it's. It's not big it's enough, pretty though. Pretty rough shit. For today's code. Well, so we we'll could to, we'll to... pull it and put a different one on. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's gone. So it's there's, gone. you know. So I remember when I tried when uh, earlier and it was just iced. And it was just chipping away at ice. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't working so good. No. All right, no, this is great. So you guys up for this this, week, this weekend? Oh, yeah. Doing the outside stuff? Yeah, definitely. And can you see over here, uh, okay, well, those are garbage bags, but Carmen started to bring the scaffolding. He's going to start repairing some of the cracks on the outside. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be this this week some point he's going to do it. Nice. Oh, you said there was 10s, though? If there's 10s, we can do 2 by 10 by 10. So Dakota has been busy ripping off that front step, and... It looks like the rainwater hitting that deck for years has caused some rot. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have to do some repairs in here. 
And there's a little crawl space in here, which I've never been in. Let's see what's going on in there. I don't see any much of anything under there, thankfully. Well, I'm surprised that this held for as long as it did for yeah. the condition that it's in. Yeah, it's pretty rough. Oh man, it's rough. Like I didn't even need to use my the sawzall at all. Just like, pulled right everything. Off. I that whole top deck part that you the Yeah. Oh, dude, I just lifted that up and it, it came right came off. Right off. It came right off. Like this is just oh man. Okay, well, I'll have to see what we can do to fix this up. While the guys are downstairs working on the front porch, I have been working on the upstairs bedroom. Now, I've decided to leave some of the original patina, AKA I didn't sand it down all the way, because I like the look of a little bit of the old paint. It shows that the house was original and went through a few owners. And if you go to stores like Restoration Hardware or other ones, people pay a lot of money to get that sort of look. And I have it for free, so I'm going to take advantage of it. And if the next person doesn't like it, they could easily take it back down. But I'm leaving it because I think it looks cool. And uh, I also just realized that I was supposed to go pick up a couple couches from a lady in town, and I'm really late. So I have to get going and go pick those up. You guys get it up here i'll grab it i am a tiny bit lightheaded after working with the very thing upstairs for a while so i'm going to step outside and get some fresh air see how the guys are doing on the deck how's it going guys hey. josh is busy he looks like a foreman <laughs> he's got the phone yeah i did the spacing out getting ready to put the getting it ready for the deck to go in yep yep any surprises so far, or was it all right? Not really. Uh, the only thing really you know what? I didn't do that. We got a cap underneath Hopefully this, because <laughs> this piece right here was actually <laughs> cut in such a way that it went underneath this, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so this was, underneath here was, uh, like, you know, yeah, a little bit. Well, we just capped it, no big deal. Nice. Uh, other than that, no, no I'm in pretty damn simple. Again. I can hear the knocking in there. I had to step outside. I'm getting a little woozy from all the fumes. Oh, yeah, I don't doubt that. It's by the front gate. Now that the snow's gone, I can kind of see, it looks like I might have a stone walkway underneath all this. I'll get the broom and see if I can't see where that leads. I feel like this should be a BBC documentary. And as you can see, the Romans left their mark by paving a path of solid stone. But in this case, it's my sidewalk. And I don't know how far this is gonna go. I mean, presumably you'd think it would go all the way to the door. I've already got about three feet so far. Trying to figure out where exactly this goes. You think it would come in the gate and go straight to the door, but no, it looks like it veers off to the side. And maybe it winds up to the door. I don't really know. Probably need a little bit better tools than what I have, but you know, it is kind of cool to be finding stuff under the ground that you didn't know was there. I'm kind of just using this rake right now to see if I can find out where the stones are. I can feel like it's hard in that spot right there. I'll dig it away. Now that the floor upstairs is more or less drying, I'm gonna start work back in the kitchen. Now, last week, uh, you guys were giving me a hard time because I called these octagons, where are they? <laughs> uh, and that's what they look like to me, but I didn't count the sides, but I will prove to you that this is in fact eight-sided. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then you go seven, eight, if you count the front and back. So it's maybe not technically an octagon, but yes, these hexagon uh, tiles are still horrible and I really don't like managing uh, well, dealing with them. So I'm gonna move on for now to the square tiles. And you might say, oh, that's weird. You guys are mixing up the tiles. Well, it's okay. I'm considering that an accent piece and then over by the stove will be square tile and it's white and I think it'll still be okay. It's gonna have to be okay because that's what I'm doing whether anybody out there likes it or not because it's just, Horrible. I hate these hexagon shaped tiles. Even if they were octagon, that'd be two more sides of pain that I don't want to deal with. Uh, so I'm going to finish this off later on today, but for now I'm going to move on to the square tiles. Ding! 
Well, I got the first spot behind where the stove is gonna go, pretty well roughed in. Have to do the rest up here after. I tear into that next. But the white tile looks good. Always looks better once you get the grout in too. I feel like English is probably a really difficult language to learn if you're from somewhere else. Well, obviously you'd be from another country if you didn't know English, unless you're from England. Or I guess we're from the other country. We're from Canada or America. We're the other country that knows English. But if you're coming over, and especially if you're a guy who does tile work and your friend invites you to the pool and he thinks, he tells you to bring your towel, but instead you bring your trowel. <laughs> I thought you said to bring my trowel. I thought this was a tile job. <laughs> You'd be like, no, we're just hanging out. It could be really confusing, I guess. But for me, I'm getting the last little bit of tile. Well, not the last little bit. I don't know why I say that. I've still got a lot to do, but I'm doing the last area behind the stove. And then I'll be able to start getting the tile in place back here. And then I'll do around above the countertop that Josh put in for me. So a little bit more to go before I can start putting the tile on. And it goes fast, really. I'm talking off camera, where did I go? It, it gets a lot easier once this is on the wall um, and you get it all kind of smoothed in and um, you have to use the groovy side. The groovy side, man, because that gives you a little bit of room for you to squish the tile on. Um, it'll go quick after this. So let's get this done and then uh, I'll go check on the guys outside and see how they're doing with the deck. The guys have called me to come outside and have a look at what they've done. I think they've got a deck going. Oh yeah, I kind of see. I'm gonna go with the patio door. Oh, it's it's looking pretty decky out here. <laughs> I guess we still have one more board to put in, but... Yeah, one more, yeah. Looks good. This is actually not a bad size. I mean, we have a big deck on the other side. So just for a little place to put a couple lawn chairs and relax on this side of the house. Yeah. It's so nice. We're going to do a, a railing system. It's always a good idea. <laughs> well, we have to. Really. <laughs> so, yeah, it's going to look more, obviously more finished once we do that. It looks really sturdy. Yeah. Could you jump on it? Okay. Yep, it's sturdy. I was able to get the backsplash tile in, and really I don't mind the square pattern. I think it looks pretty good. It's gonna look nice and clean once I get the stove back in there. Uh, we're gonna go grab supper. I'm gonna come back and work on that a little bit more. And then I have to do the dum bum 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 dreaded hexagon, not octagon tiles. Um, I have to finish that up after dinner. So off I go to grab some food and we're gonna continue on later tonight. Next morning, guys are out grabbing some lumber from the lumber yard. I'm gonna start upstairs here on the floor and the landing and see if I can't get a little bit better finish on it. This one shouldn't take too long because it's basically never been painted and I think it'll turn out pretty good. I was just about to start sanding the floor, getting that ready and I had a knock on the door. The folks from the museum are here I have to get them some things. They're going to do an exhibit for Mary, which is fantastic. And I want to make sure that uh, we get them some pottery, her potter's wheel and a few other things. So we are just here. He's going to meet me out front. And I'm going to offload my car and I'm looking forward to actually seeing what kind of display they do. Hopefully it's nice. I'll be pretty excited to see it. Aside from her pottery, I'm also going to give them her potter's wheel which still seems to be in somewhat mobile condition. And there's a whole bunch of glazes in this room too that I'd like to give the museum, if they can dig them out of here. All these little containers of glazes would make a nice display. I was able to load up a truck full of stuff for donations. So some tongs for uh, pulling the pottery out of the fire pit, um, some clay, some jars of glazes, all sorts of neat stuff. And uh, in return, <laughs> he happened to have a dryer kicking around he wasn't using. So there's a dryer, I just need a washer over there now, and my laundry room's gonna be almost complete. So now that that's done, I'm gonna go back up to the house uh, and see if I can get the floor done. The other thing that he said was that they're doing sort of a fancy dinner tonight that they wanted to invite us to. We're all wearing kind of like our grubby work clothes. So we might have to go shopping somewhere in town and find somewhat fancier clothes if this is kind of a, a black tie event. Uh, we'll see how much we can clean up by the end of today. But off to do the floor. And then I guess we have a fancy dinner to go to tonight. 
the goal here is to sand it, get rid of all this kind of splashed paint and overspray, get it right down to the wood and clear it. Off I go. Now that I've swept and vacuumed, we're gonna put a little fresh coat of sunshine on these old floors and try and bring some of that original color back up. You can see how the, the color really just comes back to life with a fresh coat of clear. So I'm gonna get this on there and kind of go against the grain a little to fill in the cracks and work our way across the floor. There, now just to let that dry and set up, then I can come up and start working on the trim around the doors later on today. For now, I'm gonna go back and work on the kitchen for a bit. And I realized I left the lid for the clear coat in one of the rooms which I can't access now, which is almost as bad as painting yourself in the corner. I have to find another lid down here somewhere, cap this thing off. We don't have the dump trailer today, so we've decided to take some of the scrap wood and burn it. We got a little fire going in the fire pit. Get rid of some of the scrap wood, but we can reuse, we'll reuse, but all the rotted stuff we can burn off. And I have to run to the next town to go and return the faucet that they sold me last week. I bought the demo model, but they didn't give me any of the link or attachments to make this thing work, so I have to return it. Plumber said it's no good. Hopefully I'll get some money back and pick up some supplies while I'm there. And uh, yeah, I think my aunt should be here pretty soon. It's just after lunchtime, she's still not here. I heard that she went a little too far and went actually to the next province over, which is like our next state. So she went <laughs> just a little too far. So I'll give her a call, let her know when she gets here, that I won't be here. But lots going on today. I made my pit stop, got my supplies. The wind did not do nice things to my hair. Look at this mess of a mop that I've got. So I'm gonna see if I can maybe pick up a hat or something, because this is getting ridiculous. This is getting all up in my face. So I'm gonna pop in, grab some toothpaste and hopefully a hat and get over to the house, get back to work. Looks like my options are camouflage or Batman. I'll see if maybe there's an in-between somewhere. Here's one that looks kind of vintage. And it's Canadian, it's pretty cool. Well, a rare occasion, I hardly ever wear hats anymore, but this one will do the trick for today. Keep the sun out of my eyes and keep my hair out of my face. <laughs> uh, and I picked up some protein bars and some food and stuff for Josh and Dakota. So I'm gonna feed those boys and keep them working and check and see how the deck is coming along. Hey, and who do I see? It's my aunt. Hello. Working on some hedges. This, is, this might be a little overwhelming. There's a lot of trimming needs to be done. Uh -huh. She's come all the way from Edmonton, which is three hours from here, more or less, just to help me with trimming the hedges. Now, that's a good ant for you. There, plus the one in the front. Mm, yeah, they didn't have wooden stringers. I had to get metal ones, which is a bit of a bummer, but it'll have oh, yeah. to do. I took a minute to uncover the old sidewalk, which is actually pretty large. It goes about three, four stones across when you get near the door. Um, a lot of seeds, oh, well, not seeds, a lot of needles from the old pine trees to pick up. But a fellow is going to come by later on and pressure wash these, and we'll have a chance to see exactly what the sidewalk looks like when it's cleaned up. Kind of excited to see.
So as they've been blowing with the leaf blower, I discovered there's some, a brick pathway running along the side of the house. So we're gonna see if we can uncover that. When I say we, I mean, he's gonna see if he can do it. <laughs> see what we can do. I was joking last night that uh, every time we come out, somebody brings us cookies and guess what showed up today? More cookies. This is the best town ever. <laughs> Now I'm going to move over from sidewalk duty. The fellows are coming back with a pressure washer and start doing some trimming on the hedges up front. There's probably other things I should be doing right now inside the house, but I'm really enjoying being outdoors. My aunt just left, went back into the city, and I'm still out here basically taking care of hedging the front, well, hedging, trimming the hedges on the front and burning off some of the sticks. I'm really enjoying the outdoor time right now. I'll have plenty of time to work on the floors tonight, but I really do have to get that floor coated and done for tomorrow so we can move the butcher block table in. That was one of the big things I really had to do this weekend. And as for the stone sidewalk, well, our good friend Tim came back. Oddly, his name is Tim Cook and does not run Apple as far as I know, unless Tim Cook has got a completely different hobby now. Um, yeah, it's a stone sidewalk. It goes all the way up to where the front is gonna be. So I have to do some repairs by the steps there. Goes around the corner that way, goes around the corner this way. And if I follow it, we're gonna just follow this little path here. I'm gonna have to trim this tree back a bit. It starts turning into brick. So there's some decorative brick trim. And then as we, if we keep walking here, it turns into a full little brick sidewalk. And who knew that this was buried underneath all that mud. So I have a fully paved little sidewalk down the side of the house now. I feel like there's been a wall between us lately. Ha <laughs> 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 ha. Man, if I hadn't laughed so hard at my uh, my brother's jokes earlier, I would have laughed at yours. Oh, you, you used up all your laughs? Yeah, you're both so funny. Hey, Dakota. Yeah. Domo arrogato, Mr. Roboto. You know why? Because this yard's full of sticks. Wah, wah, wah. It is probably somewhere around 8 o'clock right now. We've been going since, I've been going since 7 this morning. And I can tell you, I'm definitely starting to feel tired. Uh, what's not helping matters is that uh, I have a cold right now. So I'm not feeling super hot. Uh, so I think we're going to have to call it a night pretty soon. The guys have been working non-stop pretty much all day as well. Working on building the decks, which I'm really thankful for because they pretty much got both of the, the, uh, the front steps and the deck off the side of the house completed today. The challenge is that uh, we're probably getting worn out. You know, that's a long day. They started probably around 8 a.m. Uh, not long after I did. And you just don't really work the same way that you should work when you start getting tired. You start, you know, uh, you work slower, you don't think straight, and we haven't had supper yet. And I don't, actually, no, we haven't stopped for lunch. It makes me feel like a really bad employer here. Um, I should have been a better friend, to be honest, and made sure that these guys stopped to have something to eat. I uh, will make it up to them, though. I'll take them out for supper tonight. Uh, tomorrow, I have to go around the house first thing in the morning and start finding things for the yard sale that I'm doing. Um, so I won't even be working on stuff on the house. I'm going to be working on trying to sell things and hopefully pay for some of the expenses from this weekend. I will wander around probably tonight, try and find some stuff to sell and then uh, pull it downstairs. Still going to be a long day and I think I'll probably work until close to midnight tonight and then back up at 6 in the morning tomorrow. But I think for tonight, we're going to call it a night and go get something to eat. Morning. It's Sunday. Everybody got a good rest. The guys are still kind of upstairs sleeping a little bit. I have had to start going around the house today and finding a bunch of little knickknacks and treasures to bring out for the yard sale. So all throughout this adventure, I've been keeping some things that were a little too good to, to uh, give away or throw out, but um, not so good that I haven't really found room in the store for them. I have all kinds of stuff still lying around, and I thought today I'd do a yard sale and see if I couldn't get rid of some of these things and maybe pay for this week's adventure. So let's walk around the house, see if we can find some things and set up for a yard sale.
As I'm digging around looking for things I could put out at the yard sale, I realize I haven't really been through this other bedroom upstairs, and I'm finding some really neat things, like this 1950s or even late 40s magnajector that you'd put on top of an object and it would project it large so you could view it kind of like a slide or even to assist artists with drawing. That's a pretty neat thing. And there's all sorts of stuff still in this room that I have not gone through, though I might find a few treasures for myself as well as some for the sale. I'm kind of having fun. Been emptying a few things from up in the attic. I think it's time that bicycle finally sees the daylight again. Never mind. Doesn't really work that well. Is the chain seized? Oh, yeah. You have to oil that chain up. And those tires are flat. Actually, they're not flat, which is weird. They're out of air, but they're petrified in the round shape. Uh, <laughs> I guess you're going to be late for school again. The school is actually right at the end of this sidewalk, so that'd be pretty poor excuse. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh. Got some tables set up. I have to start bringing everything out and then stage it so that people can start buying things. I'm going to start putting things out for sale. I hope we get a turnout today. I advertise it locally. I don't know how many people are actually going to show up, but hopefully a few. Some of these things I forgot I even had. Hopefully there's buyers. And I'm still finding a few surprises for myself, like this massive serving dish made by Mary, signed by her in 1969, in a nice black glaze. A few little hairline cracks, but overall, really decent shape. Nice find. The yard sale is in full swing. We have a few people that are here shopping. I've sold a couple things already. And overall, I'm hoping I won't have a whole lot to bring back in the house when we're done. So the prices will get better at the end of the day, folks. <laughs> but let's see how much more we can sell and try and empty this load out. Yard sale update. Chair is gone, the trunk is gone. There's a bunch of stuff that's gone. And that means less things that I have to move either back inside or back to the city. I'm giving this old 1920s IV stand to Dakota because he does kind of dark, kind of gruesome photography. Anyway, he's gonna use it for something. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping by the end of the day that most of the stuff will go. So hopefully I can convince some of these folks that they need some of the stuff in their house more than I need it at mine. So this is the little house across the street from mine, which is slated for demolition. They've invited me in to go in their Dad, trap door. Dad, is this where I wake up in a bathtub with my kidneys missing in a bathtub full of ice? Whatever happened to Alex, we never saw him again after he went into the basement. Oh, hang on. I've got to turn my flashlight on. Well, there is stuff down here. There's spider webs. Uh, let's see. You've not been down here? There are speakers. There's part of an old stereo system. Your hot water tank. Um, I don't see much for uh, like architectural salvage type stuff. It seems like whatever was really vintage in the house, they probably got rid of. An old furnace. It's always funny. They get this far with the furnace and they're like, nah, we're not taking that up. Okay. Well, that was less than spectacular, but... It's cool to go into little hatches in the floor. Well, that's it. The yard sale is over. I think it was a pretty good success. There's very little left. And what is left, I'll probably donate either to the museum or donate to the local charity. So I'm feeling pretty good that I got rid of a bunch of stuff and ended up making some money so I can help pay for the guys to help me out this weekend. Now I have to go back inside, however, and get cracking because we are only here for one more night tonight. And I have a lot of work still to do. So I'm going to check on the guys, see how they're doing. And then I'm going to find a job for me. After what's been probably an hour and a half of cleaning, I've got the majority of the front porch cleared, vacuumed, and swept. And surprisingly, even after all the things I've taken out of this house, I was able to generate another pile of garbage just from this one little room. It never surprises me um, how much stuff has remained to come out of this house. And I still haven't finished the attic and some of the other spaces, so it's just going to be... Oh, things are falling behind me. Uh, yeah, well that wasn't creepy at all, but I have more work to do in the upstairs bedroom. I'll probably get to that after. How's it going in here, guys? Oh, it's going good. 
I realize we have company coming over at seven o'clock, so I gotta get busy cleaning and organizing and stuff. I gave Dakota the job of working on the hexagon slash octagon tiles. Working on that. Oh yeah, you're getting them in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They look pretty swell. There's uh, <laughs> I can't get this out. Oh. Ah. Uh, well. Okay. But uh, it's looking no. pretty good. Everything looks pretty, pretty snazzy. And the people in the town are continuing to wow us. It's just amazing. We got some uh, some food brought to us today with some fresh homemade whipping cream. So we're gonna take another break here. You know, you know who gave this to us? Who? Remember Rita? Rita? Yeah, I remember Rita. She, yeah, she brought some for us. Yeah, again. Yeah. Again. Oh, Rita's awesome. Yeah. Let's Shout take out in. To Rita. <laughs> Thank you to Rita and the mystery wonderful lady who brought the other food by, which we don't know what it is, but it's kind of like cinnamon cake. Cinnamon bun cake or something? Mm. It's really, really it's good. It's good, yeah. It's really good. So thank you very much for taking a much needed break after I was complaining yesterday about not feeding these guys. It took oh. the town of Provost to feed them for me. Outside, and I found another box. And what's interesting about this box is that there appears to be poetry in it, which is great. But there's also this, labeled Montreal. I think this is her entire package for when she was selected to uh, represent Canada at the Montreal Olympics. The things you find in places that you least expect. Every time I come out here, it never ceases to amaze me that there's more and more cool little treasures to be found. A quick update on what's been happening around here. The upstairs washroom is getting a skim coat just to kind of clear it over. We have the new vanity in place and the tub is yeah, still a little bit dirty, have to clean that. But we did get some baseboard trim on, which is right down there. So you can see we went with the original style wood on the baseboard. Once that's painted, this room's gonna look really nice. Now, Josh and Dakota have been busy working away, as have I. Dakota, this room is really echoey now. Echo, go, go. Um, they were painting off the white trim that's behind me, just getting that done. Dakota's going to start on a second coat of the, what's this called? This is a gray, it's called fossil gray by Benjamin Moore, if that's what color this is behind me. So there's a few spots, after you roll it on the first time, you can kind of see there's a few little spaces that the roller didn't quite hit that needs to be completed. And I'm going to go back and work on the front porch and then I have to kind of clean the whole house. Uh, because somebody brought us a bunch of cookies and water and all kinds of stuff the other day and I promised them that I'd give them a tour at 7 o'clock, which means I have a lot of cleaning to do. And I still have this whole room uh, that I never even got to yet. So eventually at some point I'm going to have to tackle this room, but uh, I'm not going to worry about that just yet. I'm going to hide my shame by closing the door and just saying don't go in there, which uh, is not the best approach, but that's the approach I've taken today. Any minute now, I have some company coming over. I had some local folks who keep bringing me cookies ask if they could come see the house. And how could I say no when there's the offer of cookies at risk? So I have been cleaning and getting the place ready and working on the floor and mopping and generally just trying to make it look a tiny bit better in here. And uh, I'll show you sort of how it looks right now. I'll flip the camera around. The living room with the inexpensive couches that I found online locally here. Actually, it's kind of nice to have a place to sit down. Haven't had too many places to sit. I mean, we had a dining room table, but now we actually have a little living room. Have to have some pictures maybe in here too, but we got a little living room going on. If I flip around this way, decided to move the piano back in the room pretty much where I found it, maybe a couple feet over from where it sat for, you know, 30, 40 years. So the piano is back in this room. In the front area, we've got our little sitting area here. I'm gonna have to dust, clearly. There's dust everywhere, but hopefully you can look beyond that. And now I put a little sideboard here and a table. So it's starting to look a lot happier, a lot more pleasant up front. And I think I hear Josh and Dakota. Hey guys, I've been cleaning. I gotta take your shoes off now. It's a, oh, it's a shoes off house now. Look at this. Yeah. And it's probably time I gave this piano a little bit of love too. It's been neglected for far too long. A little pledge. Again, another paid, unpaid ad that could have been. I always use pledge around the house. I'm gonna give that a wipe. Ooh, doesn't that look better? 
Now to do the whole thing and make it look sparkly, brand new, fresh. Last morning at the house. For now, I'll still have to come back and do some extra work on the interior. We've decided a while back, I had a really cool butcher's block. Um, we thought we'd put that in the kitchen as sort of an island. So everybody was saying, well, you need kind of a workspace to work on. Well, we had a plan for that all along, everyone. We just had you fooled and thought we didn't. Uh, last night, I got some varnish on the floor and it is dried now. And the guys are just working on getting the table ready. This thing is probably 100 years old. Many cows have died on this. Well, actually, no, they're probably dead already. Uh, that would have been that would have been actually even worse. It's not like it's an you know people don't bring an abattoir into their kitchen like hey that's an interesting architectural feature. What is it? Oh, it's an abattoir. It's you know it's the killing floor. Um, we instead have a butchery block, which you know delis butcher shops you have, have a, a kind of neat thing to have in your house. Yeah. We're gonna see if we can get the legs on and get this thing in place. Ran into a little bit of an issue this morning. The legs on the table are really loose. And that's not going to hold the weight. This table is probably about 250 pounds. So the guys are off to go look for some brackets that will maybe hold the table legs a little bit more stable, make the table stable. And I am working on finishing the grout. And I'm going to start cleaning up the countertops and just getting the kitchen more or less cleaned up. And upstairs in the bedroom, which I have started to sort today, I found this, an old Sunbeam Mixmaster. Let's see if it works. I'd almost be... More surprised if it didn't work, considering how well they used to make things. Let's see. Oh. So it works really well. It's a lot quieter than I thought it'd be. And not only did I get that, I got the attachment for juicing. Well, somebody's going to be set up, ready to make some bread or do some cooking in here. I've decided to head back upstairs and look through the room, which is kind of a mess. I have to figure out what's going to charity and what's worth keeping. So let's have a look and see what's in this spot. Hopefully some more treasures. The Singer sewing machine. This lady's really used to get dressed up for everything back then. She's got her pearls on and her dress for sewing. I guess I saw pictures of Mary even, you know, she was outside in high heels and a dress doing uh, ground fired pottery. So, you know, it's different times. I still love these old mechanics illustrated. Look at this thing, home built hunting car, top 60 miles an hour. It might go 60 miles an hour, but that guy's flying out the back when you do it. Kind of an odd ball looking thing. Looks like it used to be a Chevy, crazy. This box appears to be nothing but old fabrics. Let's see, that looks like strawberry shortcake. There's another one on this other side that was kind of cool. Uh, where did it go? It was like a definitely 1960s kind of looking print. Oh yeah, this one. Look at that, it's got like these mod posing people kind of all over it. I'm sure somebody would want to do something with that. That's where you're going to find fabric like this nowadays. Try and separate the cool stuff out. Thrown out. Oh look, Alice Chalmers, power for growing works. What's on the other side? Oh, nice little picture of a tractor. Cool keychain. Take that with me. Put it in the old pocket. This is like a hand painted lamp. Indigenous in fashion, anyway. It's kind of neat. Didn't expect to find that in here. And the other thing I found, <coughs> I had one of the family members asking if I found anything from their grandpa from World War I, and here we go. Is Charles Mason becoming a warrant officer? He's a First World War veteran, and I think that needs to go back to the family. I have a bunch of pictures and other things, but that will go back to the family, and I know his great-great-grandson was interested in anything about the war, so I'll try and get it back to him. Oh. I knelt in something sticky. So gross. Sticks! Ha ha ha! Let's see what's in here. Norman. So the brass one, or not brass, copper. Piece of pottery. H B E C. 
little cup. There's apparently there's still bits of pottery showing up in here. In about mid-century. She sounds like it's ticking. Unless you got it going. Shoes. Found a bunch of the more photo albums and yearbooks. I'll have another big box of stuff to go back to the family very soon. Searching and found this. It's a silk screen dated 1968 and the name on it is R. Mopi, it looks like. Kind of a neat piece. Definitely um, from the time, the 1960s or 70s. Who knows, I'll have to research that and see if he's, uh, or she, is a well-known artist. I think it's time to move this old sewing machine back out into the daylight. There, and the best thing is, it even still works, which is crazy, but you know, um, they really did build things great back in the old days. Now, in a previous episode, somebody said that this thing was in terrible condition, but I don't really think it's that bad at all. I don't know what you expect something to look like after, you know, close to 100 years. And this one is patented, uh, 1911 is the last patent date on it. So, you know, that's well over 100 years old, truly an antique, you know, once you get past the 100 year mark. And the thing still works, so better out of the upstairs room and much nicer in the downstairs. I've been busy doing a little bit of wiring in the house, and I said goodbye ceiling fan, and hello to an antique light fixture. At least this one puts off a bit of light in the front, and it was fairly dark up here before, and it matches all the other hotel ones that I put in the house. Actually, it's from the same uh, salvage hotel that the upstairs light and some of the other ones I put in are from, so at least there's gonna be a bunch of matching light fixtures. I am exhausted. I've got to pack a few things out to the car. Um, the guys are coming up the stairs. We're all going to be heading out pretty soon. I accomplished most of what I wanted to accomplish this weekend. We got the floors done in the hallway, got the floors done in the other bedroom. I got most of this room cleaned out behind me, but there's still a lot more to go. And I think I'll save some of that for when I have Melissa with me and she can help me sort. I did stumble across a bunch more of Mary's artwork and even a few pieces of pottery. So all in all, I'd say it was a pretty good weekend, but sadly, this will probably be the last weekend for Josh and Dakota. Butcher block table in place. You got the spherical shaped lamp above it to give you a little extra light when you're working. So now we have this nice center island, a good amount of walk space in between cupboards and cabinets. The tile and the grout is all complete. And I'm really happy with the way this is coming along. I will have to figure out what to do with that little gap in the stove. There was a clock there at one point. But all in all, it's looking really good. Brand new front steps, which are looking fantastic and sturdy, guys. Yeah. And then around the corner, we have our lovely new deck. And honestly, this place is starting to have elements of it that are way nicer than my own home. I know I've said that before, but I'm really liking this house. So the guys are setting up our good friend Carmen, who's local to the town of Provost here, has a contracting business. He's got scaffolding ready. They've started prepping the surface of the exterior of the house and getting it ready for uh, parging. They're going to repair the cracks in the foundation in the bottom here. Uh, and getting it ready for paint. So pretty excited for those next steps. That is it. So I can't thank you guys enough for all your help. It's been, uh, I mean, from starting with what was just basically a kitchen project, we've got front steps, we've got a deck, uh, pretty much baseboard all throughout the house. It's been a tremendous amount of work, so I can't thank you guys enough. Oh yeah, it was awesome actually. Thank you for uh, letting us be a part of it. Yeah, well you guys are amazing artists. I wish you nothing but success with your YouTube channel and your Instagram. Uh, I know you guys are going to do awesome. Thanks. Yeah, and Dakota's future YouTube channel. Hopefully, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it's in the works. I'm, I've been thinking of some things to do, and uh, it sounds like all, a lot of people want me to do it. So, I mean, I don't see why not, right? Yeah, I say go for it. Well, that's great, guys. Thanks again. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, I'm going to miss the guys on this project, but I know I'm going to see them again soon on future videos. Thanks so much for watching episode 14. Stay tuned for more videos. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you all soon. Bye for now.